Tracking a little bit of snow tonight on Pinpoint Doppler radar, the heaviest of which is showing up just south of Moorhead. Also a little moderate band over into Buchanan and Dickinson counties in Virginia and a little decent band up near Martin County, extending on over into Logan and Mingo counties in West Virginia. All this diving down to the south and the east. Temperatures taking their time falling tonight because of the cloud cover that's around. We're still at 30 in Harlan, Middlesbrough, 27, London and Wise, 28, Somerset and Monticello, and 23 in Moorhead. Those temperatures will continue to fall through the overnight. Feels like temperatures generally running in the teens right now, a few low 20s down near the Kentucky-Tennessee border. Bottom line, snow showers off and on through the overnight. It's that northwesterly wind driving them. Once that wind becomes a little bit more westerly tomorrow, we should see the snow showers wrap up. Maybe a dusting to a half inch tonight in some of those heavier bands. Then tomorrow, mix of sun and clouds, highs only in the low 20s. It's going to be a very chilly day. Also, wind chills tonight could dip down to near zero. Future view showing that forecast. Wind chill taken uh, right around the goose egg mark, maybe a little below zero in some locations. All depends on how strong that wind is. And then we will see wind chills tomorrow afternoon into the teens. So definitely bundle up if you're uh, heading out tomorrow, maybe celebrating Valentine's Day a little early. Might not be a bad idea to do that because we've got snow heading our way on Valentine's Day. You can see tomorrow afternoon we are nice and dry. Going into Valentine's Day Sunday, though, the morning drive at the afternoon, heavy snow breaking out. You can see 6 o'clock during the evening on Valentine's Day. Dark blue bands means a lot of snow. That will carry us into Monday morning. We then should transition to a period of wintry mix of rain and snow. Future view saying we could get up into the 40s Monday. I don't know if I'm buying that much of a warm up, but I think we will be warm enough for a little rain. It all depends on the track of that low. We'll talk about it here in a second. In the meantime, snow through lunchtime Monday. Updated run from future view. Two to four inches of snow. A little bit more down near the Virginia border from Harlan over to Wise. That's something we'll have to keep an eye on. I think it will be enough to heavily impact travel on Monday. All right, so the storm starts out off to our west Sunday. It then goes somewhere in between these two tracks. If it takes the more northern track, you have more of a rain solution, some warmer temperatures, and rain to snow Monday to Tuesday. If it takes that southern track or somewhere closer to that, you'll see more snow and almost no rain. So still some questions about how exactly this system plays out, and we'll try to fine tune that forecast as we go into tomorrow. The bottom line though, Monday morning commute looking very, very nasty. Probably a wintry mix Monday afternoon. We should go into the upper 30s, maybe the low 40s, a similar situation Tuesday, then snow showers on Wednesday during the morning and then uh, maybe a little wintry mix in the afternoon. Haley, a really, really complicated forecast. Folks, I want to keep tuning in uh, through the weekend. Allison will be here with some updates, and we'll also have updates on WYMT.com. Awesome. Thank you, Shane, so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so